In today's video, we're going to be talking about five ways you can go about selling your silver and gold if you ever need to or if you ever want to. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I wanted to talk about five ways to sell your silver or your gold if you need to or if you want to. Maybe price went up and you want to cash out. Maybe you're going through an emergency and you just simply need the cash. As well as go over the importance of having an exit strategy, even if you don't plan on selling. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, got the limited edition Christmas line, helping raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, it's for a good cause, link in the description, and of course, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account, for every three friends you refer, you'll get a spin on the Weeble wheel, where you're guaranteed at least one free share of Apple, maybe even two, three, five, seven, or 10 shares of Apple, each worth over 150 bucks. We will link in the description. So today is Saturday, December 11th, 2021. As I'm posting the video, that is. I'm actually filming this on Thursday, so I have no idea what the spot price is going to be by the time the video drops. So head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you. I'm always curious. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna be going over five different ways you can sell your silver and gold if need be. Before we get into that, I also wanted to talk about the importance of having an exit strategy when it comes to silver and gold. And I'm not talking about having the intention to sell. That's not what I mean. And just to clarify, I personally have no intention of, to sell my silver or gold at all either. And that doesn't just go for stacking, by the way. It also goes for my method of investing as well. Everything that I research and decide for myself to stack or invest in, I do so with the intent to hold on essentially for the rest of my life or potentially trade up if the opportunity presents itself. My intent is to not sell. But just because my plan is to hold on for the long term, doesn't mean that something won't cause a disruption in the short term. We learned that in 2020, which by the way, I have a massive video coming out tomorrow that heavily focuses on the detrimental events that took place in 2020 and how it caused a major disruption in my life personally in terms of two of my jobs as well as my college education. I also talked quite a bit about silver, gold, and really everything personal finance related. I kid you not, that video is pretty much five videos in one. It's over an hour long, so be on the lookout for that tomorrow. But anyway, for many of you watching right now, you might not realize this because a lot of you started stacking in 2020, but at the beginning of the big crash when the world got flipped upside down, you know how a lot of small businesses had to shut down? Well, coin shops are small businesses, and my closest coin shop had a closed until further notice sign on their door for like eight months. So my ability to get silver in person was temporarily cut off. And then as for the online precious metal dealing websites, at the beginning when spot price tanked, a lot of them listed their entire site as out of stock. So my ability to get silver online was also temporarily cut off. The reason I bring this up before talking about having an exit strategy is because that right there was a lot of people's entrance strategy and different types of world events such as what we saw in 2020 can cause a disruption and it can throw you off course. So it's important to strategize now and stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Okay, so when it comes to having an exit strategy, whether it's because you simply want to cash out, maybe spot price had gone up and you want to take some currency profits, or maybe you're going through something and you just need the fiat, there are a couple different ways you can go about doing this. So here are five steps you can take. Number one, your local coin shop. 
this is probably the best place to sell your silver and gold, similar to how it's probably the best place to buy your silver and gold. And if you're a longtime regular customer and you consistently show your support to the business, the owners and workers are going to be familiar with you and far more likely to help you out and probably give you a higher premium for your metals than they would for some random guy coming in with a box of coins he got from a family member that died. Not only that, but it's discreet. Nobody should be trying to get in your business assuming that you don't sell more than $9,999.99 worth all at once. It's a private, independent conversion of money to currency, just like how it was originally a private, independent conversion of currency to money. Step two, the internet. There are plenty of websites out there designed to help match buyers with sellers, like eBay, for example. Now, of course, a transaction made on the internet leaves a paper trail, and you may or may not want that, but it's still good to have the option regardless. Now my suggestion is this, start selling. Not your silver, but just random stuff you don't need. Tools, old clothes, DVDs, your wife's Louis Vuitton purse, stuff like that. Not only will it help you raise a little bit of cash that can get you even more silver and gold, but you'll start to establish a presence as a seller on the site. This is something that I did in 2019, but it was mainly because I just decided that I want to get rid of almost everything that I owned, mainly to declutter. I sold everything that I could. If I couldn't sell it, I donated it. If I couldn't donate it, I threw it in the garbage. But from everything that I sold, I made a little bit of currency, but I also got maybe a couple dozen positive reviews on eBay. So now, if I had no choice but to sell my silver and gold, and I chose to sell my silver and gold on eBay, guess what? The site will find customers for me, and those customers will be able to see that 100% of my transactions as a seller have been successful, and I have a good reputation as a seller, regardless of what else I've sold, which is exactly what a buyer wants to know before making a purchase. Number three, this one's a little bit controversial, which is exactly why I'm going to say it. Craigslist. Craigslist is a great way to market something online, but make the transaction in person. Now, the reason I say it could be controversial, which it's really not, by the way, people use Craigslist all the time. But the reason I say it could be controversial is because it could be perceived as unsafe. Because if you're selling something in person, especially if you're selling valuable precious metals, it could be a little bit iffy. So here's my suggestion if you're going to do this. Don't have the buyer come to your house, for the love of God. Craigslist wasn't designed to invite strangers over. That's what Tinder's for. So instead, have the buyer or the potential buyer meet up with you somewhere. And I'm not talking about meeting up behind some abandoned building in the middle of the night. That spot's already taken by people selling other stuff. I'm talking about somewhere that's well lit, somewhere that's out in public, maybe like a, I don't know, Walmart parking lot in the middle of the afternoon, right directly below the surveillance camera. Somewhere safe, somewhere common, somewhere out in the open, somewhere where other people are around, somewhere that you don't really have to worry about anything necessarily going wrong. And if you wanna play it really safe, you can even have them meet you right in front of the local police department. And I'm not even being facetious or sarcastic or, or, or trying to be funny. No funny business will be going on over there. I don't necessarily recommend this Craigslist method, but once again, it's just another option. Number four, your community. By this, I'm talking about if you have a small, tight-knit circle of people in your life that are stacking and prepping together yet separately. I've been saying for years how beneficial it can be to have a small group of people all on the same page, watching each other's backs, 
all with different roles. This is mainly in reference to prepping. For example, maybe one of you worked in the medical field, or maybe you're a former police, fire, EMT, or something like that. In which case, maybe your role would be to focus on the first aid and medical supplies. Or maybe one of you owns a decent amount of land, so maybe that's where the gardening takes place. That's what I mean by a community. When it comes to stacking, though, it's a little bit different. But if you regularly attend coin shows, or maybe you've made some friends at coin shops, or maybe your family or your co-workers also stack silver and gold as well, if you're ever in a position where you have no choice but to sell, I would say go to them first. Make an agreement with each other now that you'll offer it to each other before going off to sell it elsewhere, whether it be online or the coin shop or Craigslist or whatever the case may be. I would have that discussion now. Figure it out, have a strategy and a plan before things go wrong. That way, if and when something does go wrong, once again, you'll have a plan. Number five, similar to number four, similar to your community, you can go to the online community through maybe a social networking site. I mean, the term social networking exists for a reason. It's a network of people. And guess what? The most well-off individuals on the planet build networks. In fact, there's a famous quote. Your network is your net worth. That's why I think social media can obviously be a very dangerous weapon, but at the same time, it could be a very powerful tool, arguably one of the most powerful tools in the world. And you can build a network for yourself by quite literally just simply posting pictures of your coins and talking to people about them. Then, if and when the day comes where you need to sell or you want to sell, you can reach out to the online community or to your network to see if any of them want to buy some of the metals off of you before you go on over to the coin shop to sell. You'd be doing each other a favor at that point, which is the whole point of building a community. That's how you can get started. Now, I got my start, funny enough, as a child on MySpace. I had no idea what I was doing at the time. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. I just thought the idea of building networks was fun. That's where I learned social media marketing at a ridiculously young age. And I took that to other sites and I just kept on doing it. Now, across all platforms, I have quite a few people in my network. And again, I have zero intent to sell my silver. But if I ever needed to, do you think... I'd have a tough time doing so. I mean, look at everything on screen right now. You see some silver coins, round, some bars, some gold. I mean, we have some 90% over here. We have a 10 ounce bar right here. We have some miscellaneous rounds down here at the bottom, the five ounce Aztec calendar round, a couple of miscellaneous one troy ounce coins. We have some fractional gold coins from a bunch of different countries right here. Some two ounce coins. Right here, the Creatures of the North, a little bit, I guess, slightly more of a collectible series. Point being is that there's not a whole lot on display right now, but at the same time, a pretty decent selection. So imagine tomorrow, I were to post a video offering everything you see on screen right here for a fair premium. I'm pretty confident that one person out of the 17,000 people subscribed to this channel would want the silver or want the gold. I don't think I would have a tough time getting rid of it if I were to go that route. Point being, use the internet to build a community and help each other out. Hey, really quick, don't mind me. I'm just over here interrupting my own video. I just wanted to take a chance to remind everybody that I also have a second channel, a Twitter, an Instagram, 
and the Precious Metals VIP Club. Please connect with me in as many different ways as you can. The reason I try to be all over the place is that if something were to go wrong on this YouTube channel, I'm still able to connect with you elsewhere. Everything is linked in the description. So that right there would be my five different steps or five different ways to selling silver if you absolutely needed to. And as a bonus, here is a sixth way to sell. Reach out to me, hit me up, because I'm buying. I say that kind of as a joke, but at the same time, I'm still in acquisition mode. I'm always on the hunt for some new silver. If you or someone you know happens to have some 90% silver, let's just say for sale, that's kind of where my focal point has been for the last year and a half. So if anybody has some constitutional Washington quarters or mercury dimes, let's just say, I'm in the market for some more 90% silver. We could do each other a favor. I might want the silver more than I want the cash, and you might want the cash more than you want the silver, so let's make it happen. <laughs> Again, I say that kind of facetiously, but at the same time, hey, I won't pass up an opportunity. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. When it comes to having an exit strategy, do you understand the importance? And again, you could be kind of like myself. No plan on selling. You don't want to sell. In fact, your plan is to not sell. You want to go the rest of your life without selling. If you're someone kind of like that, kind of like me, you need to have an exit strategy anyway. Things can happen. Life can happen. There can be a disruption. Something can throw you off course. Something can get in the way. None of us are invincible to financial hardships. Again, if you agree with that statement right there, you're going to like tomorrow's video. It's an hour long, dropping in 24 hours. Be on the lookout. It's a very important video. But point being is, it's crucial. I would say that it's mandatory to have an exit strategy. And it's important to be asking yourself the questions now. It's important to be figuring out what road you should go down today, even if you're not selling today, even if you don't plan on selling anytime in the near future or ever at all. You need to be visiting your local coin shop and asking the owner and asking the worker these questions. Figure out how much overspot you would likely be able to get. Figure out how much silver or gold they are able to or, or willing to buy off of you in one go. Figure that out now. Don't wait until there's an emergency to call up the coin shop and be like, hey, uh, I need to sell my silver. They, they might not be able to buy it. You might have to go to a different coin shop, a coin shop that you're unfamiliar with. And that's just one example. When it comes to the internet, like I said, prepare yourself by just selling some random stuff that you have laying around that you don't need, stuff that you're probably either going to throw out or never use again anyway. Just sell it on eBay. Make a couple of bucks and establish yourself as a seller. Do it now so you don't have to frantically try to figure out a way to get ready during an emergency because it's not going to work. When it comes to Craigslist, I'll kind of skip over that one, but you can choose whether or not you think that's a good idea. The fourth one I mentioned is your community. Do you have people in your life? Is this a conversation that you've had with your friends or your family members or somebody that you met at the coin shop or at a coin show? Have you built a friendship or a relationship that way? Have you had the conversation saying, hey, if you ever need to sell, please come to me first. I might not be able to buy it off of you at the time, but please Offer it to me first because I would likely want to buy it and obviously vice versa. And then, of course, fifth and finally, using social media as a tool. Is this something that you've considered? I don't use social media very much anymore, but whenever I do, I see people selling coins, rounds, and bars all the time. And guess what? It works. Social media can be a very powerful tool. Again, it could be arguably the most powerful tool in the world. Some of the biggest celebrities on the planet kickstarted their careers by utilizing social media. Some of the biggest businesses of today 
The biggest companies in the world started on social media. In fact, some of the biggest companies in the world are quite literally social media. Just wanted to point those out. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Everything that I shared in this video, I tried to pack as much in as I could. Do you agree with the five steps or the five ways that I mentioned in the video? Do you disagree with any of them? Would you swap anything out? Would you add something to the list? Would you take something off of the list? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic and having an exit strategy when it comes to potentially selling your precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller and easier to manage. I'm posting exclusive VIP only adventure vlogs. I also do giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. If you guys like today's video, please, Hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Bunch of brand new videos over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have a ton of different designs. We have t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, coffee mugs. And of course, only until Christmas, we have the DYDSS Christmas line, which is helping raise a little bit of funds and awareness for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. It's for a good cause. It's helping children with cancer. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. Make sure to also go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble. The link will be in the description. For every three friends you refer this month and this month only, you will get a spin on the Weeble wheel where you're guaranteed a free share of Apple and you have the possibility of winning two, three, five, seven, or even ten free shares of Apple, each worth over $150 right now. And again, for every three friends you refer, you get a spin. If you refer six, you get two. If you refer nine, you get three, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Don't pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again, what is your response to everything shared in today's video? First and foremost, have you ever sold your silver or your gold? If the answer is yes, how did you go about doing so? Did you sell it at the local coin shop? Did you sell it to a friend? Did you sell it online? Did you sell it on social media to somebody within the precious metal stacking community that is on the online community that is? And if you have not, what would your exit strategy likely be? Have you figured that out? Have you gotten that far? If the answer is no, that's perfectly fine, but make sure you get that far today. Start figuring it out today. You don't want to wait until there's an emergency. Don't wait until you desperately need $7,000 to frantically go and try to sell $7,000 worth of silver and gold without having a clue in the world what you're doing. Figure it out today. Start asking the questions. Ask your local coin shop the questions. Ask your fellow silver and gold stacking members of the community the questions. Ask yourself the questions. Figure it out. Try to understand what the likely roadblocks would be or could be and figure out a way to combat those roadblocks today. That way you stay ready without having to get ready. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.